hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel today we have this uh, math olympiad challenge before us uh, we're going to attempt to find the values of x for this uh, equation it's a mixture of indices and uh, trigonometry now we're to find the values of x and the values of x is supposed to lie between 0 and 360 and both intervals inclusive so um, let's uh, begin uh, please uh, before we look into the question or uh, the challenge before us if today is your first time of visiting my youtube channel please uh, subscribe and uh, turn on the notification bell so that you get updates on new uh, videos like uh, the one you are about to watch. Okay, thank you and let's uh, move on. So the first thing is to um, first put down the question. We have our solution here and then we pull down the question. We have 3 to the power of sine squared x plus 3 to the power of cos squared x equal to 4. Now, um, recall that in trigonometry, there is a very popular identity, which is sine squared x plus cos squared x equal to 1. And so I'm going to make cos squared x the subject, and so I'll have cos squared x will be equal to 1 minus sine squared x. So from this end, from this point now, I'm going to make a substitution. Wherever I see cos squared x, I'm going to replace that with 1 minus sine squared x so that we have the same um, identity all true. So we have a, in the next line, we're going to have uh, 3 sine squared x plus 3 to the power of 1 minus sine squared x equal to 4. And of course, I'm going to expand this using uh, the law of indices. If I have a to the power of m minus n, this will give me a to the power of m uh, times a to the power of minus n, which will give a to the power of m all over a to the power of n. Okay, so I'm going to rewrite this particular uh, term of the equation to give uh, 3 to the power of sine squared x plus 3 to the power of 1 times 3 to the power of minus sine squared x. Now, uh, this equal to 4. So this will now become um, this now becomes 3 to the power of sine squared x plus 3 to the power uh, 3 to the power of 1 uh, dot 1 over 3 to the power of sine squared x and then equal to 4. So this will give me 3 to the power of sine squared x plus 3 over 3 to the power of sine squared x equal to 4. Now, of course, it has to be stated clearly that 3 to the power of sine squared x can never be equal to zero. So if that's the case, we can go ahead and say let m equal to 3 to the power of sine squared x. So our equation now becomes our equation now becomes m plus 3 over m equal to 4. Okay, so uh, let me move over 
over to the next line here. So I'm going to have from that end I have uh, m plus 3 over m equal to 4. So what I'm going to do now is to use the LCM. The LCM, this is a fraction, so the LCM is 3, uh, sorry, the LCM is m. I multiply each of each term of the equation by m. So I have m multiplied by m plus m multiplied by 3 over m equal to m multiplied by 4. And this will give me m squared plus 3 equal to 4m. So um, this is quadratic now. So I have m squared minus 4m plus 3 equal to 0. So I need to factorize this so that I get the two factors of the quadratic equation. So I'm going to use m squared minus, I will use uh, minus 1 and minus 3 because minus 3 and multiplied by minus 1 will give me plus 3. And of course, minus 1 minus 3 will give minus 4. And then of course the m. So I have minus m minus 3m plus 3 equal to 0. So this will give, so by the time I group this and factorize, so I'm going to have m minus 1, m into m minus 1. Then of course, I have minus 3 into m minus 1 equal to 0. Of course, I'm going to have m minus 3. So what I'll just do is to combine m and minus 3 into one bracket and then of course take the common m minus 1 equal to 0. So from here, the result is going to be m minus 3 equal to 0 or m minus 1 equal to 0. Now this is so important because we know that if you have a dot b equal to 0, it is either a equal to 0 or b equal to 0 or both are equal to 0 or both are equal to 0. Okay? So if this is the case, then it means m equal to 3 or m equal to 1. Now remember in the original equation, uh, we do not have m. We are just using this m as a as a bridge um, between the original equation and the actual values of x. So what we need to do now is to consider the two cases. So we are going to have case 1 where we have m equal to 3. We also have it that m equal to 3 to the power of sine squared x. So what that means is that this will mean that uh, if I come over here and solve this, let me solve this on this side. So I'm going to, we are going to have 3 to the power of sine squared x equals to 3 to the power of 1. So on both sides, if you have a to the power of x equal to a to the power of y, then it means that since the bases are equal, then x must be equal to y. Okay, so we have this to be equal, then the power sign equal. So here now we have sine squared x equal to 1. So sine x will be equal to plus or minus square root of 1. Sine x will give me plus or minus 1. So there are two values now we are going to solve for. So we take a, we take for the first value. When sine x equal to plus 1. Therefore x will give me sine arc sine 1 so x will be equal to 90. So what other values of x will give us 1 between the, between 0 and 360? I don't think there is any because sine 90 is just simply equal to 1 and there is no other value between 0 and 360 that gives us um, uh, 1. Okay, so we 
take it at x is equal to 90 degrees. Then, of course, we are going to look at the second value, which is a sine x equal to minus 1. Uh, okay, so x will be arc sine, arc sine minus 1. This will give me 270 degrees. So, 270 degrees. So, is there any other value? Negative that gives us um, uh, any other angle that their sign will give minus one and is between zero and 360. I don't think there is none. So we we'll leave that as it is. So now let's look at case two. Case two. Case two. We have m equal to 1 and we also have that m is equal to 3 to the power of sine squared x so i'm going to solve this here that will give me sine uh, 3 to the power of sine squared x equal to 1 now note that in indices anything to the power of 0 is 1 so considering the base on the left I'm also going to make this base 3, so that will give me 3 sine to the power of sine squared x equal to 3 to the power of 0. And then the basis will cancel, looking at what we did here earlier here, that uh, if you have the same base, uh, to, I mean base on both sides will be equal, then the index indices are equal. So the same thing will, will apply here. Okay, so that means sine squared x equal to zero that means sine x will be equal to square root of zero sine x will be equal to zero so x is x sine zero and that the first value is zero degrees the second value will be 180 and then the third value will be 360. so now to conclude finally the values of x therefore the values of x will be 0, 90, because you have um, 180, 270, and uh, 360 degrees. So there you have it, the values of x. So um, we can also get the values in radian. So guys, in the comment section, I want you to tell me what will be the radian values, the equivalent radian values of this of these uh, angles? I see you in the next video. Thank you so very much for coming, and God bless you.